We'd like to ask, uh, what I want to look at is um, entry principles. I think you've done this with me, Anita. Um, because a lot of people find that they, they shy away when they're making their practice because they're scared. What we need to do is to be able to make here of it, to enter without fear, and not have to worry about getting hit. And there's lots and lots of different ways that we can do this. Uh, so, Darren. So, we'll start first of all um, from ski, because it's a little bit more of a, a basic one. And all we're going to do, plain and simply, is think of yourself making shown and achieved type of tap. It's not shown and achieved, but it's a similar feeling. We'll give you an idea maybe somewhere to go. It's nice so as ski gets made. Like so. From this position, we there's lots and lots of different things we can do. Here we go. So we have skiing anything is possible. This same technique can also be applied from my Gary, which is the front. Snap kick, like so. Works exactly the same my Gary. Let's move down to the side. I can quite easily just move past. <coughs> so, with these two, for now, have a go, see what comes out of it. Okay, see what techniques you're going to do. The arm come down to the side, the other arm come up to protect your face. Again, take the principle and then let your body do with it what it needs to do to make it So that, basically this, what we've just done, is um, sort of what I would call an Aiki version of Gidambarai. Gidambarai in karate is a very, very rigid block, which is very similar to what we're doing here. It's a sweep, yeah? That's all it is, Gidambarai is it literally translated means lower sweep. Yeah, Barai is a big sweeping movement, Gidan is a lower area. So there's nothing in there that actually um, would suggest that this was ever meant to be a blocking strike. We're going to move on from Gidan Barai now, and we're going to have a look at um, another method of entry, which involves Taisabaki, uh, or Irami Tenkan, however you want to call it, um, called Kukinagashi. Um, and again, I'm sure that we'll have lots of uh, seeing, but not seeing with this one. So we'll start from C. As he makes a C movement, I'm going to move in now. Again, I'm going to deflect it here. Here. What's happening is I step to make my every ten count. This arm comes in. As I make contact, I feel that connection with my partner here. I step and I allow my elbow to come up. Yeah, so almost making this kind of feeling. At the same time, as I continue through with the ten count move, now, lo and behold, we have control of business. This allows me to catch a punch. So, even if you punch me really quickly, now I can make a good clutch or something else. Like that. Now, from the same position, we can also, the same, from Shomanuchi attack, we can make a Kunagashi also, which again keeps us, uh, keeps us safe from being hit. So, if Darren makes Shomanuchi, right? And he makes contact because I didn't get out of the way. If, if I'm not here when he attacks, he cuts all the way through. In, down, draw it down. Because he's got Okay, in a gashi, whether it's from ski, up and over, show him the chief. Up and over. That's exactly the same. Show them the both. Yeah. Yeah? Can okay. we have that? Mike, go. This hand. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank